Between Venice and Lido in the Venetian Lagoon, there lies a place so terrifying, so haunting, not even the Italian government wants it. That's a spicy a haunted, I'm not gonna do that. Good news everyone, the world's most haunted island is for sale. But what makes it so haunted? A bunch of things. First off, the plague. Supposedly, the Italian government sent people with the plague and people who already died of the plague to Pavalia Island, some tourism board Italy has. Welcome to Italy, where you can starve to death on an island full of corpses for the low, low price of getting the plague, unless the plague kills you first, then we'll send you there for free. So now the island is home to thousands of pissed off plague ghosts. Holy hell, who would want to buy that place? Little Maria, she wouldn't want to buy the place, but she is one of the most famous ghosts on the island. Story goes, a young girl named Maria died from the plague. Now she can be seen crying for her parents who supposedly lived across the lagoon. Oh Maria, that's so sad. Maybe I'll buy the place for the adorable ghost hugs. Do we have a picture of what she looks like? <laughs> oh, Things don't get better from here. It's rumored that the buildings on the island were at one point used as a mental hospital slash old folks home because that's a thing. Where a mad doctor experimented on the elderly with lobotomies. The story goes that he threw himself off the bell tower because the ghost drove him mad. Aw, oh, little Maria, you crazy. Since he was the only caretaker on the island, no one knows how long the maimed and surgically disfigured patients lived before joining the ghost party. Ghost party? That sounds fun. Do we have a picture of that? No! Disco? Okay, hold on. I'm supposed to believe that Italy let one doctor go to an island with a bunch of old people by himself? No questions asked? Sorry, internet. Not buying it. Or the island. I'm not buying that either. I'm not buying anything. Other hauntings. A TV host said the island possessed him, like a full-on pea soup vomit possession. Rumors say that the dirt is 50% ash. <laughs> And the locals have the saying, when an evil man dies, he wakes up on Pavalia, which is a super creepy saying and might be true. So maybe Pavalia is haunted, but I still don't believe the cliche horror story about the mad scientist or the ash dirt thing. And you can easily test for ash dirt. That's dirt. That's ash. Katie Wayne knows exactly what human ash smells like. Either way, it's been abandoned for 50 years and it's spookier than non-abandoned islands, I guess. Happy haunting, everybody. If you're in the mood for more ghosts and monsters, check out this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below, especially you guys from Venice. Brazi, that means gracias in Spanish. Hold on one second.